here's a good one. How to train for BJJ without a school. Um, man, <laughs> the purists are going to hate me, but, um, you know, get some mats. You know, they're cheap. I mean, it's funny. A lot, of, a lot of the mat companies now are selling 10 by 10 home mat setups really cheap because, hey, we're all stuck at home. So they figure that's a great way to make some money. And it is. Uh, get some mats, get some friends, and head to YouTube and BJJ Fanatics. You know, pick up some DVDs, watch some videos on YouTube. Um, you know, I know a lot of people say that uh, that's not the way to go, but you know, the, the quality of BJJ instructionals and tutorials you can find, whether it's on BJJ Fanatics or on you know Because Jitsu or you know Jujitsu X or any of these places, other like I said, or even YouTube is very very high level. I mean. It's going to be a little tough without kind of having the proper understanding to, to really kind of piece the moves together. But, you know, you can find basics. You can find basic tutorials. I mean, there's, you know, BJJ Fanatics has tutorials on, you know, how to get started that are basically, you know, you know white belt jujitsu. I mean, same with uh, YouTube. You know, if you, if you go and search five moves that a beginner should know, you'll find videos on that. And they're pretty well broken down. You know, I mean, I think the people that probably made them, you know, made them with the understanding that, you know, somebody who's obviously new to jujitsu is going to be watching this. So, and, you know, the story I like to tell is, you know, my coach, um, uh, Nathan Orchard, you know, if you look him up, uh, he's, you know, he's pretty accomplished, you know, he'll tell you he, he didn't really, in fact, we were just talking about this Friday, he really, you know, in his own words, he didn't really train with anybody regularly until he was about a brown belt, you know, and now he's a bit of a special case because, you know, he was a wrestler and then he was an MMA guy and then he got into jujitsu and, but same thing, you know, he just got together with friends, was on forums, would go down to, to LA and, you know, train at 10th Planet HQ, you know, got his, and got his blue belt and his purple belt just from, you know, just from training on his own, going to, going to matches and winning, you know, going to tournaments and winning, and then, you know, just kind of checking in with the mothership every so often. So, it's, it's totally doable. I mean, and, you know, let's be honest, you know, Gracie University, that's pretty much what they do. You know, they put a curriculum online for you and, you know, you watch it and, you know, they'll, they'll belt you up to, I think, blue belt just from training online and then going in and testing. So, you know, there's nowadays, if, if you want to learn BJJ, there's really no reason not to. I mean, it's, it, it's pretty easy to get started. I mean, I think you can get these mat setups for less than a grand, probably, and probably significantly less than a grand, depending on where you shop. So, you know, and, and 10 feet by 10 feet, that's enough for two people to drill on. So that's my advice there. Friends, mats, and uh, video tutorials. And, uh, you know, and of course, if you can get to seminars every so often, you know, if you can get, get in with the community, um, definitely do that. And, you know, maybe even find somebody that's close enough that it's practical for you to go visit maybe once a month, maybe once a quarter, just check in. And, you know, you know, make a road trip, you know, of course, go to go to tournaments. But um, yeah, there's, there's really no reason you can't do this on your own these days. I mean, it's kind of like everything, you know, we like to say, hey, we live in this time where, <clears throat> you know, I can, I can pretty much uh, learn anything for free on YouTube, which you can, and that kind of includes things like like BJJ. So yeah, uh, you know, go for it. And, you know, if you, uh, if you need, if you have questions about kind of a learning path or where to get started looking for videos, definitely hit me up. Cause I've, I've done a bit of that. I mean, even though I've always had access to schools, you know, there've been times say due to work or, uh, other things where I haven't trained as regularly. And so I've, that's pretty much what I've done is just, you know, watch videos, watch matches and just kind of keep it in my head. So, um, yeah, so that's my advice there. <clears throat>